It's the world. Um, I think just the start means the world. Um, uh, we just got to go out there. Um, Indiana's a really tough team, really good team. Um, just got to go out there and do the fundamentals like Coach Day said. Is that a program that you were close to? I mean, yeah, uh, dad played there, um, got recruited by him heavily. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a close program. These last few weeks, what have you really been drilling down on to you know, prepare yourself to be the starter all year? Um, I think just like Coach Day said, the fundamentals. Uh, if I could keep my pad low, keep my head up, hands in, punch, I think that's, uh, that's the key that will win me my reps. Have you seen that bear out in practice, you know, as you've improved on those things? Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes, I mean, in practice, you're always going to get beat. I mean, it's a, like, it's going to happen. People say it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, just uh, going against, like, Jack and JT, Kenyatta, um, all those guys, um, you get beat. You go out there, ask them, hey, what would you see right here? They tell me, and then I fix it from there. Josh, how important is it for you guys as a unit to set the tone on the ground this week and just get the season on the right foot? Uh, I think it's important. Um, like I said, Indiana's a really good team. Um, I think uh, we'll, we'll we'll try to establish a run. Obviously, pass game's going to do what it does, but um, I think they're a really good team, and we just gotta we just gotta be focused on fundamentals and working the fit. And then, what can you guys, as an offensive line, do to help the two quarterbacks who are both going to be playing this weekend? I think just do our jobs. If we do our jobs, the rest will handle itself. Judge, uh, Indiana came in here a couple years ago. Really aggressive with the way they were blitzing and things like that. You know, the personnel is a little bit different, but is that informing at all how you guys are preparing for this game? Do you expect them to be aggressive? Uh, I expect every team to be aggressive with us, but um, like. I think Indiana is a, um, a good team. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, they could pressure, but um, I think, like I said, if we work the fit and um, we're there and we know what we do and we know what we have, I think we'll be we'll be fine. Because it's because it's three new starters on Alpha Twenty. Mm. Because it's a new quarterback, younger quarterbacks, and it's more experienced quarterbacks. Mm. Does that increase how much you expect teams to come after you guys, maybe especially early? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Uh, uh, <laughs> never really thought about. It like that, but yeah, I guess you could say that. Um, uh, like I said, I think Indiana's a really good team. I mean, they got a lot of transfers, but those transfers are good. Uh, from what I've watched, they're they're really good transfers. So I think Indiana's going to be a really good team to face. How have you guys been working on things like communication as a unit, as a, a five-man group, to pick up those blitzes, those things that you're seeing? I think I think it starts in practice and it starts in the meeting room as well. I think the meeting room first, um, more so of hey, I'm telling. Um, Matt or I'm telling Carson, hey, we got this, we got to do this, um, and then out on the field and transitioning it. So. A lot of that's on Carson, right? I mean, he's got a lot of response. Yeah, I would say, now, I would say a, a lot of it's on all of us. I think all of us have to communicate, not just Carson, because, I mean, Carson's a, the focal point. He's the center. But um, if we're all five on the same page, I, I think we'll do our job. When you're talking about developing that chemistry with some new faces, does it help to have all those different looks thrown at you in terms of blitzes and different things? Yeah, because I think the first time uh, maybe you screwed up or, or maybe you don't get it the first time, and then and then the second time, third time, you start getting it. You start getting the pattern down, the rhythm down, and I think um, you block it. Josh, uh, you mentioned the transfers they have that Andre Carter kid from Western Michigan. Yeah. What, what stands out about him? Um, I think he's really good. I think his uh, his defend and the runs really good, and I think his his uh, pass rush is really good. Um, I'm not going to give any specifics, but uh, yeah, I think he's he plays with a high motor and he never stops, which uh, he's a really good really good player. When you're preparing for a team that has a lot of transfers, mm -hmm. are you just more watching like individual film of guys? Obviously, there's no Indiana film of the players. Yeah, I think you're watching a little bit of both. I think you're watching the structure defense, and then I think you're watching. Um, how how they play against other people, um, the Carter kid or the kid from West Virginia um, or the uh, kid from Texas Tech, all those guys. I think you're watching them, how they defend the run, how they defend the pass, and see what see what works against them. Is there a statement you guys want to make this week as an offensive line? Now you're talking last time you met with us. You wanted to prove you're the best pass pro, right tackle. Yeah, yeah, history. yeah. As a group, what's the statement this week? I think uh, we just go out there. We need to do our job and win the game. Would you say this line is further along as a pass blocking unit, a run blocking unit? Or? <laughs> That's a trick question. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say uh, I think we're good all around. Good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a true question. Josh, what do you like about playing next to Matt Jones? Uh, funny thing is, is, is Matt's really quiet. He doesn't talk a lot. Um, uh, but I think uh, we have a really special connection. Um, I think. Uh, 
me just telling him, talking to him, and he says yes or no. That's all he says, yes or no. And But I understand his tone of it and what he gets done. And, and when he's talking, I'm like, oh, Matt's talking. All right, we got to listen. So, uh, yeah, I think it's really special. Um, and I think having a guy like that that played a lot of a lot of plays, a lot of games, a lot of everything, I think uh, it helps. Two more questions. When Matt was healthy last year, like, he and the Wands together just kind of like moving that whole side of the line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we can do well. Um, Matt's a cinder block. He, he's got, like Coach Fry says, he's got a pillar strength. Like you hit him, he don't move. So uh, I think that's uh, that's good to have as a as a guard. So. Josh, you're you're like, like, last question. We'll do two. We can do these two. Yeah. Josh, do you feel like this offensive line now in here of four days before the opener, three days before the opener, do you feel like it's really – Come around, solidified. I mean, this lineup, y'all got. Yeah, I think so. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. Does it feel yeah, no, I think so. I think. Maybe four weeks ago. Go ahead. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think all five are clicking. I think, um, and we're communicating, um, running off the ball, and pass pro. We're communicating, see who we have, what we got. So I, I think. Uh, I think we'll work well as the offense line. Last question. You're an Indiana kid, right? Yeah. You're going to play in Bloomington, West Lafayette, and South Bend. <laughs> yeah. And if it works out, Indy. Yeah. Are you? I mean, you noticed that a few years ago. When did you see the schedule? Uh, my dad pointed it out last. Uh, what was it? This spring. This 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 spring. Um, and uh, it was kind of cool just seeing going back home those three times and playing in those stadiums where um, every Saturday you watched Purdue, you watched Indiana, you watched Notre Dame. So I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, I just think it's really cool. A lot of tickets here. No, I don't have that much. I only got eight uh, going out. I'm not a Keep with family and friends close. That's, that's all I do. Small circle. Yeah, small circle. Small circle. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate it.